Here I am on the Keynote starting page, and I'm going to start with just a basic white presentation. Now, I like to start off by getting rid of anything already on the slide, so it's just a plain white slide to begin with. Now, a little bit about the layout. On the left side, we have our list of slides, so if we had multiple, we could see them all there. And at the top of the screen is where you add things to your slide. So we could start by adding a text box. We could write, this is a text box, and then move that anywhere on the screen. We can also add shapes. So let's add in a square and then drag to resize it so it's a rectangle. We can go ahead, let's add another shape. Let's add in a triangle. We'll put it over here. And if you are updated to the more recent version of Keynote, there is a whole range of shapes to choose from. So we have these basic ones, but we also have three-dimensional shapes, objects, animals, etc. And so maybe we're going to include an image of the Earth. We can put that right in, resize it, and we're ready to go. And so that's how you could add things to your slide. If you do want to add images, real-life images, you can do so by coming to Media and selecting Choose. Now you can choose any picture from your computer and put it right into your slide. But the next thing we want to do is change the colors and the appearance of some of these objects. So we'll start by clicking on this rectangle and we'll make sure that we're here in the top right corner under Format. We'll be in the Style tab and we're going to start off in this section titled Fill. We're going to make sure we have a color fill, so the shape is filled with a color. And let's click on this and change it to the color green. Now the next thing we could do is add a border. So in this border tab just down below, I'm going to click here and let's add a border. Now you can see that border around the shape, but we could also adjust it. So first, let's make it a little bit thicker. Instead of four points, let's make it 10 points. Now it's a thicker border. And instead of black, let's click this little color wheel and let's make this a blue border. Perfect. For the triangle, let's fill this triangle with the color pink and let's give it a border and make it a nice thick border. Let's do a 15 point border. Last but not least, let's make our Earth look a little bit more like an Earth. So we'll click on it and let's turn the land green. So under Fill, we'll select this green color for our land. And there we go. Now our objects are looking a little bit better, but we need to also format the text. So we'll click on the text box and instead of Style, we're going to move over to where we see text. Here we can adjust the style of our text. So we can change the font into a font we like. We could make it bold. We could change the font size. Let's make it 65 here. And we could change the color of the font. So instead of black, let's click this color wheel and make it red. Alrighty. And so the slide is looking a little bit better right now but we can make it better still. One way is we want to make the water in the earth look blue, like the color of real water, not just the white that's here now. Hmm. Well, one way we could do this is by filling this with a blue circle. So let's come up to shape and let's add a circle and we're going to drag it so it's the exact same size as our earth. You can see right there, it's the same size as the Earth. Oop, let's make that perfect. Right there. Now, we want to make this watercolored. So underneath the Style tab, let's change this so it's a dark blue. There we go. But now there's obviously the problem that this circle is covering up the rest of the Earth. And what we want is for the Earth to be on top of the blue circle, not behind it. So 
So what we could do is with the blue circle, we can come not to style, not to text, but we're going to arrange this. And here, we're going to send it to the back. And so we've sent it behind everything else. Now we can slide it into place. And there we have our earth looking all complete. You know, let's make this a rounded out picture. So let's get rid of this triangle. Let's move this text inside of the text box. Oh, you see how it gets cut off? Well, we can take the text and under arrange, let's bring that text to the front. There we go. Now we need to resize the text box. So let's drag it so that everything fits inside. And you know, let's label a point on this earth. Let's add an arrow to our presentation. And let's make this arrow a little bit more visible. So we'll highlight it. Under style, we're going to increase the size from two points. Let's do 15 points. And let's change the color from black. Let's click the color wheel and make it red. Perfect. And we can go point at this continent. And in our text box, we'll label that this is Africa. We'll drag it so it's all nice and centered. There we go. And so this is pretty good, but there's one thing we can make a little bit better. The problem right now is if I click on the earth and try to resize it, it's only going to resize one piece of it. It's either going to do the blue circle or it's going to do the green land. But I want these two pieces to be connected because in my image, they're all just making up the entire earth. So what I'm going to do is select both of those objects. So I've dragged to select both the blue circle and the image of the earth. And I'm going to come up to the arrange tab. I can connect these two objects by coming down and selecting group. Now I could also do that by right clicking and selecting group. But what this does is now both of those objects are connected, and so I could resize them or move them all as one object. So let's make the Earth a little bit bigger. Let's adjust our arrow. And then let's highlight everything and center it on the page. There we go. We've finished building our slide. So now the next thing we can do here is add some animations. To do that, we're going to come next to Format, where it says Animate. Now we're, we'll select an object. Let's start by animating the Earth. There are three types of animations. A build-in animation makes the object appear on the screen. An action is something for it to do when it's already on the screen. And a build-out will make it disappear off the screen. So let's start by adding an effect. And we can preview the different effects. We can see what a wipe effect looks like, what a scale effect, an appear, a blur. We could test them out and pick one that works for us. Myself, I like the scale effect. But I think it moves a little bit too slowly. So I'm going to change the duration from 0 0.75, let's make it 0.3 instead. That's better, but I also like to check bounce, which gives the object a little bounce at the end of it, makes it look more alive. Great. The next thing we could animate is this label. But right now, this label is in two pieces. So before I animate it, I'm going to connect those two pieces like we did before. I'm going to highlight both of them, right click, and select group. Now these two pieces are connected. The text and the box are connected. Let's add another animation. This time, let's look about adding a wipe. Well, I'm going to speed it up. Let's make it, instead of one second, let's do half a second. 
And instead of coming from the left, let's have it come from the bottom. Perfect. Now the next thing I could do is animate this line, this arrow. So I'll add an effect and let's do a line draw. That's going to show this line drawing onto the screen. Now I'm going to speed this up a lot. So let's bring it from two seconds down to half a second. And that looks pretty good. Now we could play through this and see how it looks. So the earth will pop up, we'll get our label, and we'll point our arrow. But what if we decide we want to draw the arrow before the label? We don't like the way the animations are ordered. Well, let's escape from here. And to adjust the order, we'll come down to build order right here at the bottom. This will pull up a list of all of your animations in the order they're going to appear. So we could click through it. Animation one, we can see that's the earth. It's highlighted the earth. Animation two, that's our label. And animation three is the line or the arrow drawing onto the screen. If we want to change the order, let's just drag this animation into the place where we want it. Right here. Now it's the earth, the arrow, then the label. And we can see what that looks like. Earth, the arrow, then the label. Let's take this even one step further. Let's say that we want to add another arrow. So let's add another arrow so that we're pointing at Africa from both sides. And first let's make it look the same. So with that arrow, We'll come to Format and Style. We're going to make it red. And we're going to make it the same thickness. From 2, we'll change it to 15. This arrow, we also need to animate. So let's come up to the Animate tab, add an animation, and we'll do the same line draw that takes half a second. But now, what if we want both of these arrows to appear and draw at the same time? Well, we can do that by coming down to Build Order. We can see we have these two lines or these two arrows, the first one and the second one. But we want these animations to happen at the same second. So we're going to take this animation and drag it so it's in line with them. And we're going to check that it's exactly the same by clicking on the second animation and moving it so that it doesn't start after, but it starts with the, the first line. Now we can see these two are fully connected. And if we preview this, the earth appears, both arrows draw at the same time, and then we'll get our label. Perfect. So now we've animated our slide, it's all ready to go, and we can start recording this into a video. To record a video, we're going to come up to where it says play in the top of the screen. Then we're going to click record slideshow. And now we are in our slide recorder. At the very bottom of the screen, you will have an option, a little red dot to click record. It's going to give you a countdown, and you'll be able to go through the video. So you'll present, here's the Earth, and when we look at this continent here, well, this is the continent Africa. When you finish your slideshow, just stop recording, and you can leave the recorder. Great. That was so simple, and now we're ready to export our video. We'll come up to the top toolbar, select File, export to, and we're going to export this as a movie. Make sure that you're exporting the slideshow recording that you just made. Click next and save the document to your computer. And there you go. You've created your first video using Keynote.